Kenna. Welcome to Freedom Sufferer Cards video number 147. Ah, it. And today, we continue the NHL Playoff Preview Final Four Edition. Ah, it. And man, what a playoffs it has been. It has been crazy and a nightmare for those that like to bet. Because almost all of the favorites have been eliminated. And for those of you that like to choose the underdog, it's been a buffet. But, uh, man, man, man. Let us start with the Islanders versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. Yes, you heard that. The Islanders defeated the Boston Bruins. Man, and how did they do that? Well, Pajot chipping in with 13 points in 12 games played. Mainly assists, as he had 10 assists. Beauvillier. It's this Beauvillier celebrating and cheering, man. 11 points in 12 games played. And 7 of those were assists as well. Just to show you, they like sharing the puck. You had... Bailey with 11 points and 5 goals. Brock Nelson with 10 points, 6 goals. Kyle Palmieri leading the team with 7 goals. And Barzell, he, did have, he had a bit of a quiet start. He started to turn it up a bit. Still looking skyward. I said, but man chipped in with three goals. It's the nine points, though, in the 12 games played, that he's getting closer and closer to that point per game. And you've got a big-time player. Like Eberle. Jordan Eberle, who's known for the big goals. Always has scored some big goals. He's also got eight points in 12 games played. With three goals. See where I'm getting there? Everyone chipping in a little bit here and a little bit there. And Harlamov, Violet Harlamov, bounced back with four wins and three losses. 2.72 goals against average. That is not great. Got some more light up in here. Yeah. And a save percentage of 925. That is pretty damn good. And Ilya Sorokin, four wins, one loss. Goals against average of 2.32. And a save percentage of 0.934. Now, for those of you that don't understand goals against and save percentage, I had a few messages that some people aren't hockey fans. They don't know. All that means is he averages 2 Point three goals against every game. So your team's got to score three for you to win, usually. And the save percentage, yeah, in his case, uh, 0 0.925, 92.5% of the shots against him will be stopped. So I hope that clears things up a bit. Now on the other end, a lot of people are complaining with what Tampa Bay has done. But what they did, they're $18 million over the salary cap which is okay if it was done fairly. But this man right here, Kucherov, there's a lot of people saying he should not have been allowed to play at all. He didn't play a single game all season. So how you could all of a sudden be put on a playoff roster is unbelievable. And all he's done, all he's done is get 18 points. 18 points. Come on. I believe, yeah, that is tops in the league. Five goals, 18 points. Finally, Kucherov. He's looked healthy to me. I don't know about you. Braden Point led the way with eight goals. Eight goals and 12 points. Man, these guys are powerhouses. Stamkos. Finding that old touch. Five goals as well. 13 points. I sit down. Crazy, crazy numbers. Hedman. Victor Hedman. 11 points. 
all of them persists. Man. But he's got also 24 minutes of ice time per game. Tyler Johnson, I think he's going to be one of the keys in this defensive-minded Islanders opposition here. He only got two points, one goal and one assist. But these are the types of players in these games that you expect something from. And Yanni Gord, fun player, good player, chipped in with two goals. This is the kind of guy that's going to have to show up. And of course, in goal. The goals against average of 2.24 and a save percentage of 0.934. I said eight wins, three losses. He's done what he's had to do and made the saves when they were needed to be made. Now, not that my record has been good this year with my predictions. It's You could say that for pretty much 98% of hockey fans out there. But I am choosing the Tampa Bay Lightning. Regardless how defensive-minded the Islanders are, Tampa Bay Lightning should win this series. And the way things are going, I'm going to say in six. And now the next series. Well, before, before we move on, I should point out Islanders have a couple of defensemen out there that aren't getting much love but are getting some ice time like Pelik and Pulak the Peas 23 minutes and 48 seconds and 24 minutes and 2 seconds respectively average per game they're getting a lot of ice time and Tampa Bay they're top pairing McDonough with 22 minutes and 47 seconds and Hedman with 24 minutes. So there are some serious, as you're seeing, everyone's leaning on their top defensive pairing extra. It's just getting extra minutes, a couple of minutes extra that they were getting in the season. Games are important now. So now we have ourselves the Habs versus Las Vegas Golden Knights. Well, that crazy statistic is still alive and well. The winner of Montreal versus Toronto in the NHL's history has always gone on to win the Stanley Cup. And people laughed when I said it in round one. But now it's looking pretty scary, isn't it? Those odds are still alive. How long? Will this dream be over this round? We shall see. But for the moment, the winner of that series winning a Stanley Cup is still alive and well. And they will be getting some help as Petrie should be cleared to play and return. Very important defenseman for them. The Foley led the way with 10 points. Four goals, but 10 points nonetheless. Suzuki... How has he done in his sophomore year? Well, eight points and four goals as well. Now, I believe that's in 11 games. Uh, probably as they swept the Jets. Yes. Pretty crazy. Swept the Jets and seven games. Uh, and it went to game seven with the Leafs. Brendan Gallagher. Man, he's got to turn it up offensively but he's been in all the right places he's creating problems on the opposition he works hard i expect him to be a very key player in this series how about this man shea weber we talk about ice time shea weber man 25 minutes and 28 seconds to lead the league in the playoff ice time shea weber is crucial in this series and his defensive partner, Cherot, has 25 minutes and 13 seconds of ice time a game. I said, this man here, talk about important players. He's going to have to shut down that very well-rounded Vegas offense. 19 minutes of ice time 
19 minutes a game, leading the forwards on the team. Even though his points are low, he's extremely important. He's doing an excellent job back-checking and shadowing the opposition stars. This guy I expect to have a few big goals in this series. Lekkonen. Yes, he only has two goals up to this point, but again, this time in the playoffs, you're going to need some of these lesser shadowed, lesser known players to step it up. You also got, of note, of the veterans, Stahl and Perry, how did they do so far? Stahl with seven points, one goal, rest all assists, and then you got Perry constantly getting under people's nerves, of course. Six points, three goals, three assists in ten games played for him. One game less. And of course, Joel Armia, seven points, four of those being goals. Now, we know what the most important member of the team, who the most important member of the team is. That's this beauty autograph. Yeah, Carey Price. Eight wins. Doesn't matter what way you go, the results are the same. Eight wins, three losses. Goals against average of 1.97, under two a game, and a save percentage of 0.935. Those are some numbers. So if the Habs get two goals a game, they should win. They should win with only two goals. That's just crazy, isn't it? Hard to believe, but it is so. Now the on the other end, you got Vegas. You got Vegas, and leading the way in 13 games played is William Carlson. 11 points, seven assists though, but still chipping in, sharing the puck, hustle, hustle, hustle is his game. You also got Pietrangelo. He has settled in nicely with the Golden Knights with 8 points in the playoffs and 23, almost 24 minutes of ice per game. Defensively, he's reliable. He's chipping in offensively. Cannot ask for more at all. You also have Pacioretty chipping in. He's only played 7 games, but he's got 8 points, 4 goals, Four assists, well-rounded offensive attack there. You got Jonathan Marcisso, and he is leading the way with six goals. So that's pretty good. He's also chipped in with two assists. Mark. Definitely not hands of Stone. Mark Stone, eight points, five goals as well. Chipping in with some offense. Like he always does. We got Tuck with four goals. We also got seven points. Really good player. I love Alex Tuck. I expect him to continue to turn it up. Theodore is the defensive partner of Pietrangelo now. He's usually known for his offense. Well, he's got six assists, but he's got 23 minutes of ice per game. We got Riley Smith. Riley Smith is going to be one of those guys I expect to get those goals, you know, unguarded goals where they need to get some secondary offense. And I think it could come from the deeper line. Seven points. He's got seven points. Not bad. <clears throat> seven points and five of those are assists. But this man, Mark andre Fleury. That's a goals against average of even lower than Carey Price with 1.81 and a save percentage of 0.925. Man, oily, sparkly numbers. There. That's just crazy. Now, who do I think is going to win that series? Well, honestly, I think Montreal is going to take that series. I really do. And I think it's going to be the Habs and the Lightning in the Stanley Cup Final. Or, it could be even crazier and be the Islanders and the Habs in the Final as the most unexpected Stanley Cup Final of all time. 
But I believe that Tampa Bay will refuse to drop and stay down. They are going straight to the finals. They'll be playing the Habs. Of course, Vegas could win. Of course they could. They should. But Montreal's got something this year. And they believe. They believe they could do this. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah.